how's it going everybody? Hope you're doing well. I wanted to have a little chat about what I'm worried about if there's not any accountability to all of the people, like the vast amount of people that conspired and participated in this coup. Now, the picture behind me is from a two-story slide in a museum in St. Louis. And it was, it was an extremely unique museum that really helped adults use their imagination and, and kind of let go for a little bit and climb around and do some artwork and really become kids again to use to use their imagination and it reminded me of the years where I did improv I, I did uh, performance improv short form and long form form for a while uh, and one of the things that happens in improv is you accept what's said to you and then you add to it it's called heightening or yes and and in that case what happens during a scene is things start to build on top of each other and eventually things tend to get out of hand so as one silly thing happens and then another sillier thing happens and then another sillier thing happens eventually the scene becomes untenable and in the show, you just call scene and you end the game or end the scene and start another scene. The problem here in America is we're doing this with the ridiculousness where everybody has to top what the last person did. You know, we're, we're going to do a 15 week abortion ban. We're going to do a heartbeat abortion ban. We're going to let parents have a say at the school boards. We're gonna let parents dictate what the curriculum is. We're gonna now let parents call a tip line and sue schools. And then we're gonna ban books. I, I, I mean, it just, you can see it keeps building and building and building. And each time there's no accountability. You know, you look at some of the remarks Trump made before he was elected they were outrageous and a lot of people thought wow that should disqualify him because that's the way things worked back then but now you have Boebert talking about the Jihad Squad you know saying uh, anti-semitic things to Jewish people you got MT MTG you got Gates under investigation for child sex trafficking and yet they just they just keep supporting it and keep supporting it and pretty soon it's going to become untenable. The problem is we can't just call scene and start over. That's normally violence or major events. Imagine what it's going to take to stop this heightening of everything. Because even if you get 70% of the people, 75% of the people on board, you still have 25% of America that is just going nuts. And some of it's even coordinated. I, I just think it's important to understand the value of accountability. The reason our prison or our, our justice system has penalties is primarily to work as a way to prevent crime. It's supposed to scare people away. Well, if people, these Republicans, are never held accountable, they're not going to all of a sudden decide we're going to go straight. That's not how things happen. If you think somebody that commits crime over and over and over again all of a sudden decides to reform themselves and stop doing crime, well, maybe that happens every now and again, but it's not the norm. The same thing is with politicians. They've been getting away with thing after thing after thing. And if you let them get away without accountability, like soon, if they don't have to pay a price, then there's no deterrent. And if there's no deterrent, there's no democracy. So I'm really worried that we're treating these seditious criminals with more kid gloves than we treat people that get caught stealing a car. I, I personally think Stealing democracy is a bigger crime than stealing a car, especially when you've com conspired with a hundred, hundreds of elected leaders and people in the military and ex-military and attorneys 
when you've conspired with all of these people and there's no accountability, you're going to do the next step. That's just the way it goes. Somehow, together, we've got to be able to call scene. If you have any ideas, leave them down in the comments section. If you like what we do here, please subscribe to the channel. Check out our playlist for The Coup. There's a lot of great information breaking it down. There's a 22-page detailed breakdown of, of Giuliani's plan, all the way to some funny videos about Jim Jordan and, and watching Republicans squirm. So if you like what we do, please subscribe, hit that bell. Thanks a lot for paying attention. Share this out. Love you guys, and we'll talk to you real soon.